resolve to take the fight against these terrorists. Okay, Martin Reardon with me now, Vice President of the Sufan Group, who worked with the FBI for 21 years. Uh, experts in the United States, indeed worldwide, will be analyzing these pictures to see if it is the same spot, indeed the same person uh, who killed Jim Foley, who has now appeared uh, apparently killing Stephen Sotloff. What, what will they be looking for? Well, I think there's three things that the intelligence analysts will want to know, the questions they want answered. Where did this happen? When did it happen? But most importantly, who did it? And they're going to accomplish this through digital forensics, uh, both of the imagery, what do you see on that video, and of course the audio analysis, what do you hear or what don't you hear on the video. Uh, talk about the, the imagery first. Um, is the executioner in the Foley video the same as the executioner in the Sotloff video? The way they're going to do this is find something in there of a known dimension, a size. It could be the head of a known individual. It could be the knife in the Sotloff uh, video. Identify the maker of that knife, what type of knife it is, and the exact dimensions. Once you have a known dimension in that uh, video, you can determine exact sizes of every, everybody in it. So they can say how many centimeters tall. Where does that lead you then? That gives you, that, that, that starts to uh, eliminate some suspects, but then identify others. Uh, also with the eyes, okay, looking at the eyes, digitally forensic or forensic digital uh, enhancements uh, can say, based on the eyes, it's the same person. So you have an idea of who it is there. Next, you look at the, the background. What do you see there? Uh, the terrain in the background. It, it, I don't, uh, there weren't buildings in this case, but terrain in the background. What area in that region could it have been? There is a potential. It would be a far shot, but there is a potential of determining where that is. But again, the when and the where is not as important as who. Who did this? And that's why the audio enhancement is so important. When you have thousands of people, perhaps hundreds of thousands of people losing their lives. Is there not a danger that this will fall into the hands uh, of those who did it? Uh, give them exactly what they want. The, the, the fact that the concentration of investigation is now on this one person, this one place, uh, these two journalists, rather than the, the bigger picture. Well, I don't think the bigger picture is being pushed away. Uh, in the last two weeks, two Americans have been murdered by IS. Uh, they conducted criminal attacks. If they're identified and they're captured, they'll be prosecuted on, based on U.S. laws, or the attempt will be there. The U.S. hasn't lost sight of the bigger picture. All right? This is one investigation as, as part, you know, involved with, with the wider uh, strategy against IS. Uh, but it, it is important for both the public and for the families for these killers or the killer to be identified. Martin, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, Martin Reardon talking to us.